The next one we're going to do is we're still on the uh, Windows 10 fix your networking connection issues. Um, I'll put the link uh, at the top here um, at the top of the description of the vi video you're watching. This is I'm just breaking down this page some more. This is an area that actually fixed uh, a lot of my problems after Windows came along with their uh, December update. I had had to put in a static IP into uh, my network uh, adapter uh, to get it to work, to work around a different bug that Microsoft had done back uh, patch in November that broke my wireless connectivity to my router. So let's break this down. The network troubleshooter can diagnose and fix connection problems. Okay, so let's run the network troubleshooter and identify and repair problems from the list of results. Okay, so let's um, let's say that troubleshooter, you know what to do, um, you ran it, still doesn't work. Um, let's get into the meat of this because this is, this is the area that uh, may trip some people up. Um, if it doesn't fix your problems, they want you to try these things. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> okay. To run these networking commands uh, in the command prompt window, we're going to go over here and we're going to right click on the little Windows icon in the bottom left hand corner. And you're going to want to run these as the administrator. So it's one with the little admin next to the command prompt. Okay, and we'll pull up a, a DOS window. Again, if your DOS window comes up pretty small, uh, you can uh, right click at the top here, uh, select properties. You can increase the font. I've got mine set at 20 just because my resolution's a little rectangular here. Um, I set it to 20. And then my layout, my window size is, uh, I set it to 150, and you can just change these to whatever you want. So let's do 150 and 40. And you'll see it'll readjust the window a little bit, shaved a little off the bottom. So I'm going to collapse this a little bit so just so we can look and see what they're asking us to do. So let's type in the first one. This is real easy to do. Uh, the recommended way, you can just look at it and type it or um, you can hover over this and just capture it by uh, left clicking uh, on your mouse's uh, left button there and selecting it and then right clicking and saying copy and we can go back to our DOS prompt and then right click and do paste or you can simply type it in exactly how it is and then just press your enter key. So what it shows us is that Windows 10 successfully reset the Windows ca Winsock catalog and you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So let's assume that we just reset the computer and let's go on to the next thing they ask us to do which is typing in this here, this command set. And it's actually going to be resetting and initializing our IP. And I'm going to do that and just right click, and say paste. Let's see what's happening. OK, resetting global, OK, interface, so on and so forth. And let's go down and it says uh, restart the computer to complete this action. We'll skip that for now because we're going to do an IP config next and a front slash there's a space between these two right here so if you're typing it beware of that and let me just paste that in so you can see at the front I've got a little bit of space it doesn't really matter and there's a space between config and the front slash and the release and we're releasing our IP configuration on the computer actually on the uh, wireless adapter and so it's letting go of everything and uh, it actually released my network connection and you can see it went to no internet access at this point where I was connected um, I was actually just connected a second ago and let me reduce this a little bit so we can actually see okay so we've got no internet access now let's see what happens when let me drag this back down let's renew let's ask our wireless router to renew our IP and let's see what happens and it's going to go through and it looks like it's performing the operation 
um, and look we got our IP address back and it's uh, IP and it's version uh, 4 um, and it's 192.168.1.105 which is what it was before we released it. You can see Wi-Fi adapter everything was cleared out on the release command. Now the last thing they're asking you to do is run the flush DNS which is going to reset our um, domain name server and clear out anything that might be hanging up. So let's do that. I'm just going to leave the space at the beginning. It doesn't really matter. And it cleared it out. Now you can see down here that I have internet access again. So all of these items here we want to run that command just to kind of repeat. Run the first command. Reboot. Make sure you come back to this page. Run the second one. Reboot. And then you want to do a release an IP renew and then you want to flush DNS and see if that fixes your internet connection problem which on several after several of Windows updates like a big roll-up update like the one they've had basically at the end of every month since Windows 10 has been released um, and if you lose wireless connectivity at your computer or your laptop or whatever this is a good set of commands to run and it's fairly straightforward uh, wish you a lot of luck at it. Thanks.